I've been playing Duet Night at base for 100 plus hours already. I'm just joking guys. I mean the test itself doesn't even last that long, it only lasts for 2 days, so this is not going to be my usual critical review video, but it will be more like first impression for the game. So as usual, I will talk briefly about the story, combat, and the music. Those three things are the usual metrics that I use to review a video game, because for me, if the game nailed those three aspects, it's pretty much gonna be a very good game. Which is the reason why every time I make a review video, I will always use the same format, which is talking about the story, combat, and the music. But before I review the game, I think it's better for me to introduce the game first, because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys doesn't even know what kind of game is this. So Duet Night like Abyss or Inchot DNA is your generic hack and slash action RPG game, with the main difference being that every character are able to switch between melee combat and range combat, depending on your preferences. The game is an instance based game, it has several secluded areas for you to explore, but again, it's not a true open world game because as you can see here, there are limits to certain places that you can reach when you try to explore the map. I actually like it this way because it's pretty much simple and straightforward while also still have a little bit of exploration aspect into the game. To be honest, you are not going to explore the map to begin with because the replayability for this game lies in its dungeon. The best thing about this dungeon is they have their own specific gimmicks that you need to follow in order to win. And on top of that, it's not that kind of dungeon that only has like one room and then you kill wave of enemies and then go out. Like literally in any other open world gacha games, it's actually a big explorable dungeon that you can go around, so it's not going to get boring really fast, because there are a lot of varieties into it. We have a total of 7 dungeons, just in technical tests, and also the fact that we can play with co-op mode in the future, I think it's going to be a lot more fun. Right now we cannot do co-op yet, because it's not available for this test, but as you can see here, we have a matchmaking button, it says coming soon, so you can pretty much expect co-op mode in the future. Talking about characters, the main difference between each character's playability is that they have different skill and ultimate skill, obviously, but for the basic attack, it depends on the weapon that you are using. So each character are going to have the same basic attack combo if all of them are using the same weapon. For example, if I use a sword for Berenica here, she's going to have the same basic attack as Psyche, because I equip sword for both of them as their main weapon. But for skill and ultimate skill, they are going to have their own unique animation. And that is the brief explanation for the game. Now let's actually review the game. Keep in mind that this game right now is still in its technical test, it's not even CB1 boot yet, so you have to judge the game based on its development state. I will just say this straight up in the front, if I'm going to give it a score between 1 to 10 for this technical test, I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. Straight up, I'm not even joking. The way they narrated the story, especially for the prologue, is just really really good. It's not the same like any other open world gacha games that I played before, where you just stand in one spot talking to NPC, and then you move to other spot talking to another NPC, which is pretty much boring, but in here, we actually have action moving around, killing enemies, while also sleeping some cutscenes here and there. It's just way entertaining, and it just fits my preference for how an action RPG story should be. I'm giving the story a high mark, without a doubt. Right now, we only have stand ups for the story, but for character voiceover, I'm actually surprised they already done with the majority of voice line in several different languages, like English, Japanese, Chinese, and Korean all already done for voiceover. So with this, they can focus more into the story voice acting, so I really have high expectation for other dubs in the story for the upcoming future test. The combat is not the strongest aspect of the game, but overall, still pretty much fun to play. You cannot switch characters, but you can summon two of your other characters here, spamming AoE spell, which is a very fun gameplay to be honest. Not to mention that these dungeons are actually fun to play as well, so I'm giving it a pass for the combat in technical test. I think it already looks great. I know that some people are gonna say this game is a copy of another game, which I won't mention here. I've been saying this multiple times already. I don't care about this notion of which game copy which game. As long as you do the packaging right, like the game looks fun, it runs really well without any bugs, the story and the music is good, then it's pretty much a good game for me. We have so many examples of a game in quotation mark copying another game, but as you can see, they're still running well just fine, and even more successful than the original I guess, so I don't see any of this as a problem to be honest. That aside, the main selling point for this game, Duet Night Abyss, in my opinion, is not about combat. It is in their music. I've always been a Nier fanboy for a long time because Nier just fits all of these three aspects that I've mentioned before. Which is also the reason why I play PGL to begin with, because Alpha and our world is just so good. But Duet Night Abyss actually really surprised me for a technical test, 
they just go all out for the music. I mean, just listen to this music. If you have played Nier before and you think this is not the same as Nier music, then you f***ing lie to me. Honestly, I already have high expectation for the music since I saw the trailer and the website as well, both have good music, so I'm really giving this a high mark for a technical test. Everything just sounds amazing. If you are asking me what is the bad thing or what is the issue that they need to solve for this technical test, it's the fact that everything just feels so unpolished. The textures, character's expression is just so ugly, the UI is pretty much basic, and the optimization is just so bad. I got frame drops here and there, even without doing anything. I thought it was because of my PC, but after seeing a lot of other streamers having the same issue as well, it's kinda confirmed already that the issue is more leaning towards their optimization. But again, those issues are pretty much expected for a technical test. And I think those issues are easy to fix, it's not an issue that needs a complete system overhaul, the core foundation of the game is pretty much solid already, as long as they keep consistent for the story, the music, and polish the combat and aesthetic of the game a bit more, I think the game will launch just fine, if not even very successful. So yeah, that's all about the video. I'm looking forward for CBT1 in the future, definitely check this game out when it's released, the game has so much potential just for technical tests. That's all from me, like and subscribe for upcoming video, and I see you guys next time.